Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Thursday, March 14th, and it's 9 o'clock a.m. And I wanted to, um, I actually wrote this down and started to do this a while back and never did. Um, I, I guess I thought I was going to add to it, but it doesn't need, it, this is enough for now. <clears throat> This is just a test. Okay. I'm going to give you a little sermon. And then I want you to tell me what's wrong with it. I will take the best comments and what I have to say and make the next video. Or I'll make it tomorrow. I may do another one today on teaching. I'll teach something. I have a few things in mind. All right. <clears throat> it may not be this morning, it may be after my nap, but I'm going to start reading and studying this morning because I have some things that I really want to go over and learn more myself. And you know how good our Holy Spirit is. He can give us understanding like those words can just pop right out of the page and be like, ah, light bulb goes off. I love it when that happens, don't you? All right, well, for that to happen, we have to stay in the Word. Okay, so here's my little sermon. Imagine you go into a church on Sunday, or you turn on a YouTube channel, and this is what you hear. <clears throat> Let me get a drink. All right. You must learn to love yourself before you can love others in the right way. And loving them does not mean denying yourself. You will be so drained that you will not be able to help the one who comes along that really needs you. So take care of yourself. Take care of your needs. Of course you must tithe. That brings you blessings. We all know that. And there's a scripture in Micah that I forgot to look up. I'll do it now. Micah. Oh, of course. I'm logged off. I have to re-log on. <laughs> and <laughs> it's, just, it's getting old, but it's all right. I'm not letting it get to me. All right. I should have done this already. My apologies. Going to um, Google. Is it Micah? Malachi. It's the last book of the Bible. Okay. I'm just going to type in scripture on tithing. Y'all know what tithing is. If you've never been to a church... Or looked it up or not familiar. Um, it's you're supposed to give 10%. Uh, uh oh. An error occurred during a connection to google.com. The page you are trying to view cannot be shown because an error in the network protocol was detected. Please contact the website owners to inform them of this problem. Okay, I've been completely shut out of Facebook. It's not shut down. There are people still on there writing comments, but everything I tried to comment to, my comment was denied. Okay, I clicked on try again, and there it goes. It was just a glitch. All right. All right, God makes two powerful promises when you tithe in faith. All right. Wow, I got more than I wanted. I wanted the one that's in the very last book of the Old Testament. All right, here's 20 verses about tithing. Tithing before Moses. Let me go over here because my... Jacob, what Moses said, 
tithes established for the Levites. Yes, yeah, see, the Levites weren't given land, so they had all the other tribes had to bring 10% of whether they grew crops or whether they raised animals. They had to bring the first of 10 to the Levites so they could eat, right? That's a good thing. All right, and then we got some in Deuteronomy, Second Chronicles, Nehemiah, uh, Principles of Plenty is in Proverbs. The Lord requires more than regular ties. Amos 4, 4 to 5, the robbing of God. This is the one I wanted. Malachi 3, 8 through 9. <laughs> Will man rob God? Yet you are robbing me. But you say, how have we robbed you? In your tithes and contributions, you are cursed with a curse. For you are robbing me, the whole nation of you. Okay, so that's the verse I had meant to look up. So anyway, it's short. Like I said, I was going to add to it, but I think that's enough. If some of you are new, and I know you haven't gotten all into the word completely yet. That's all right. You think about it for a minute. What does it say to you? There's something wrong with this little passage. And I want to hear your opinion. This is an interactive. I'm going to start doing this. Because then I'm not doing all the talking. You're doing some of the talking. Then I'm going to do another video including your thoughts, plus some I want to add if you don't catch them all. Y'all might have all the answers. Wouldn't that be great? All right. But I'll still do my other stuff too. All right? All right. I'm fixing to go study. I'm going to end this here. So I will plead the blood of Jesus over it and the internet connection and over each and every one of you as well. With that, I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you later.